The visualization assignments are here to help you prepare for the project. Each one is basically a short task with some requirements. Making sure to do them right ensures that you'll get a 100. Let's go ahead and take a look at this right here. So here we are on the first visualization assignment. This one is taking a random sample. Now you'll want to use the playlist down below to download and install Jump. Make sure you have the latest version of Jump. If you have an older version, it's probably all right, but I like to use the latest version. So if you see Jump 15, download Jump 15. If Jump 16 comes out, download Jump 16. Let's go ahead, if you have Jump installed, and download this file. If you click it, it should download to your computer. You'll see it has the green icon down here, which means it's a Jump file. And let's go ahead and open this file. If you have Jump, it'll open up inside of Jump. So with this file now open, we're just gonna full screen it here and just take a look at what's going on. First, we have key, which is actually unique for each row, making it an identifier. An identifier is one of the three types of variables we will talk about in this class. Identifiers are unique and never repeat for any observations in a data set. Next, we have app store ID. This is also unique and can never repeat. Because of that, it's also an identifier. Now we get to app name. And there's apps in here like Sudoku, there's apps like Weather Pro, and with this, those can repeat. Since they can repeat, that would mean they're not an identifier, they're actually categorical. And categorical is the second type of variable I'm mentioning here, which is when we put things into categories. Just think about like, what group is this in? Just like this one over here, category of app is a categorical variable. Even your class level is a category. Freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, graduate, other, those are categories right there. Last but not least, we have a third type of variable right here, which is quantitative. If you notice, you might say, well, wait a minute, wouldn't App Store ID be quantitative? Well, no, App Store ID is just a number basically assigned to it that is unique, where file size can be subtracted. That's a real test to know if something's quantitative. You look at it and you say, okay, that's 288 megabytes, that's four megabytes, that's a difference of 284 megabytes. That's an actual real difference. These are actual real numbers under file size where App Store ID is more of just an identifying number for it. So if you can subtract the difference and they make logical sense, that's a good way to know if something is quantitative. So it's a quick review. Identifiers are unique and can never repeat. Categorical puts things into categories and quantitative is actual real numbers. Now that we have that out of the way, let's take the random sample of this data frame right here. And we are going to go to tables and subset. So go ahead, go to tables and subset. And we are gonna take 500 by going under random sample size and take 500 plus the last two of our UTID. So mine will be 579. Make sure to put in the last two of your UTID. And after doing this, go ahead and hit OK. Now that we're right here, let's go ahead and take a screenshot. An important thing to know is your screenshot should be clear and easy to read. Right now, I'm not displaying everything on this screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up this window just a little bit more and maybe bring it down to 20 rows. 20 rows would be a good amount, but we wanna make sure you have all five variables included. With this right here, we're just gonna move it over to the left. And now let's take a screenshot. If you're on a PC, you'll need to use snipping tool. You can find this by hitting the Windows button and typing in snip ing and you will get the snipping tool. So let's go right here and go to new. And we're gonna take a snip right here of our screen. You can always crop the screenshot afterwards, but a good screenshot is important. We do grade individuals on how good their screenshot is. Make sure to only take the important parts of the screen. We're not gonna be very harsh on the grading, but don't include extra parts of the screen that we don't need to see. This is a very clear screenshot. It shows the random sample. It shows the five columns. So this is how you take a screenshot on a PC. Now, since I'm on a PC, I can't unfortunately demonstrate the Mac method, but on a Mac, you will hold these buttons at the same time. You will hold down Command, then Shift, and Four. When you press these buttons, it'll freeze your screen in a good way, and then you'll take a screenshot by simply expanding the window. It'll then put this to your desktop, and you can drag this to a Word document. Simply take this picture that you've saved via Mac or PC into a Word document and submit it, and you'll get a 100. Great job.